Uh, South South Zone News at 2. The headlines INEC apologizes to some Edo citizens over registration of governorship election. Vyasa State Government to support FRCN on South South Zone Station Office. Ivorian President to run for third term. Today's commentary is on the need for a vibrant non soil non oil economy. Details in a moment. Good afternoon. COVID-19 and malaria may have similar symptoms, but they are caused by different agents. Know that while COVID-19 can spread from person to person, malaria cannot. My name is Rachel Ona with the news. Now the news in full. The Independent National Electoral Commission has apologized to Edo citizens, especially those who have turned 18 but could not be registered for the governorship election. Head Voter Education and Publicity, Mr. Timidi Wario Maide, the ap apology at an event organized by Center for Democracy and Development in Benin City, blaming their non capturing as a result of the COVID 19 pandemic. Correspondent Solomon Obuzoya was there and now completes the story. Pause. Governor Doye Diri has played the support of the Balsa State Government to the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria in actualizing the permanent South South Zonal Station of the FRCN. The governor made the promise when top management officials of the FRCN South South Zone visited him at Government House in Yenegua. Alain Bordatoye brings us the rest of the story. Man diligent in his ways, he shall dine with kings and not mere mortals. This is the case with the head of news Radio Nigeria, Bronze FM, Ms. Chinyere Onyaba, as she was presented with an excellent performance award by a non governmental organization, Enorese Foundation, based in Benin City. Correspondent Gladys Oshokumobo was at the presentation ceremony and brings us the report. You're listening to Radio Nigeria, South South Zone News at 2. Here are stories in the bulletin so far. INEC apologizes to Edo state citizens over registration for governorship election. Bayasa State Government to support FRCN on South South Zone State Office. Still ahead, Ivorian President to run for third term. Plus business, foreign, entertainment, sports, commentary and weather. Do stay with us. Yeah, apologies for that break in transmission. You're welcome back. Now the news continues. The House of Representatives has summoned a uh, former Minister of Finance, Mrs. Kemi Adioshu, current Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, and Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Hadia Sadia Farouk, to account for 1.7 trillion naira appropriated for implementation of national social investment programs from 2016 to September 2019. The House Committee on Public Accounts also summoned the incumbent and former permanent secretaries and desk officers involved in the implementation of NSIPs in both ministries and the National Social Investment Office. For details of this and more on business news, let's join Tony Ahigwe. And now we'll take a look at the foreign scene. Ivory Coast's President Alansal Watara says he will run for a third term in October's general elections. The president was nominated by his party last week. Let's join Okem Ugochuku for more on foreign news. In the world of entertainment, Burner Boy announces release date for new album as Naira Mali pleads guilty in court. Kuro Berezi brings us up to speed with the details and more. Marilla anointed the cost of Sports, Aisha is not all the zones. Sports update is next. 
Nigeria Football Federation decides on funds for palliatives on COVID-19 pandemic tomorrow as sorry for that break Nigeria Football Federation decides on funds for palliatives on COVID-19 pandemic tomorrow as league management company proposes September for 2020-2021 football season Austin Isaac has more on sports and out the commentary today's commentary is on the need for a vibrant non-oil economy written by Emmanuel Bello of our bronze FM station Benin and read from our studio the commentary on the need for a vibrant non-oil economy was written by Emmanuel Bello of our bronze FM station Benin and read by Gabriela Onyejiri To end Radio Nigeria, South South Zone News at 2, a recap of the major items. INEC has apologized to some Edo State citizens over registration for governorship election. Biasa State Government is to support FRCN on South South Zonal Station Office. Ivorian president is to run for third term. The news was edited by Desire Lotson and the production team. My name is Rachel Ona. Thank you very much for listening. Good afternoon.